think we are good. Should be good to go. I got the camera zoomed in a little closer. I want to have a an unboxing. I want it a little a little closer than normal. And we're gonna do an unboxing. I'm so excited about this. This came in today and I just wanted to open it up. I love new hardware when it comes in. And this came in and I was like, oh, I want to open it, but I still left everything sealed because we would do this together. We'll let a few people get in. We'll let this, uh, this is what we're going to be going through tonight. I mean, I don't think it's going to be like super crazy or anything, but the Zotac brand has been very good, um, at least from the mining standpoint. It's been, usually has some of the highest overhead that you can take it uh, with the GTX 1070 that we did earlier in May. I think we were one of the first, at least with the Zotac, in May doing it with the NVIDIA cards when you couldn't get the AMD cards. And that thing dared to impress. Um, I think we were holding stable 1000 megahertz on the memory in Windows when the drivers weren't the best, right? So not too bad. So I'm kind of interested in seeing what this thing can do. Obviously take that one more step up and then I'm seeing some stuff on this saying that this thing has a lot better power management relative to doing some Zcash and stuff. So we're going to we're gonna open this up. We're going to let a few more people get in. Uh, this is the Amped Extreme Edition. We do have the link down in the description uh, of the one. We did get this on Amazon. Um, it did take a little longer, but I think when the 1070s first came out, this wasn't necessarily available, even though they put it on Amazon. We ordered it on October 26th, so it just arrived today. So, pretty excited about it. So, we're going to go ahead and get, get this open. Uh, we're going to be using the test bench uh, box today, which I just I think just restarted. Um, the description of that's in here i took the the front lid of it off um that's sitting back there it's a kind of a glass shield piece here i did pivot the way the gpu is going to sit in there because i'm not going to be using it with a riser today um just because we're just doing one and if we get time tonight i'm going to run some gaming benchmarks and stuff just see what it does out of the box um with it so i wanted it to have the full 16 uh channel and the riser expanders that we have, I don't think I have one right here available. These do not fit. You have to get a longer one than the 30 cm just because it won't pivot the way this thing normally sets. So I was going to try it with this, but I need to get a longer one than 30 centimeters. Um, or I need at least a, a just probably about another, I don't know, 10 or 12 centimeters and then it would work. But Let's go ahead and get this open. We got about 60 people in. Let's see what this... I'm, I'm going to take assumption this is going to be a lot like the the 1080 Ti version with regards to like the settings and or the just the overall look of the card. I did want to make sure it was zoomed in enough so you guys could see that. As we start to kind of just push this stuff over to the side and get this guy set up here so you guys can come um, over enough so you guys can see this and they really put this in there all right i'm an ogre though i will rip things all right nothing I don't know why they still send CDs. Nobody's got CD players anymore. Or DVD players. So, an 8 to 2 6 pin connector. An 8 to 2 6 pin connector. An open spot, nothing in it. Oh man, this thing's beastly. That's it. There's nothing else in that box. Feels like a triple den. Woo. It is definitely. It, it's definitely a triple den. It, it'll take up two den spots and then it's gonna hang over. But just like the 
the 1070 and the 1080 Ti version of the Amped Extreme. Big plate on the back. Nice look to it. That lights up. Oh. Uh, logo there, push the limit. It's a cool carbon fiber look to it. It's got like a, that's all like carbon fiber look. Obviously not actual carbon fiber, that'd be expensive and pointless. And it looks like it's got the LED set up same way as the others the amped extremes and then it's two eight pins and it probably requires them both we tried the 1070 before like this and we did it with one eight pin and it didn't it didn't initialize so the uh we're gonna get this machine shut down this bit test bench was setting off to the side for a, quite a long time and I'll make, make sure my stream deck is up. Stream deck's loaded. And we can go to here. So the, the test bench is a MSI Carbon motherboard. Uh, we got the, it in the description. And this is rocking a i3-7350K also. And I just got 8 gigs of RAM in it. Again, this is mining stuff. This isn't mainly uh, for gaming. But that's still a little overkill for most mining situations. Um, and then it's got an 850 RGB thermal take power supply. So that's what we're working with. That's what this is uh, reading right now as the system up is about 25 watts just idle. Because um, the this is plugged into the 850. That's there. We're going to... I believe this thing only has 1703 patch level. So it doesn't have the fall creator update yet. But that's okay. We'll uh, shut this down. As long as 1703 is in there is really the big critical one. And we'll get this installed. There's no drivers on here. I pre-ran a DDU, which is the device driver uninstalled to make sure there's nothing on this. Um, and I pre-downloaded a lot of the tools. So we're gonna pull these guys off here. I'll try to get some of it set up tonight a little, a little more. Let's take this off because these things are kind of a pain when they're not configured just right in there and that thing is heavy I'm gonna walk around the other side to get it hooked up and we're gonna get this take some of the tension off this bracket Thumb screws. I think a boss. We're gonna put both of them in there. Normally I just put one in there because like whatever, but this thing has got some weight to it. Kinda reminds me of the Devil 13s, which was a 390X2 made by Power Color. Those things actually came with like a, a strut. Oh, let me plug in the the video into it. The power colors would come with a little bar that inside your case you could prop up the back. You could extend it and you know it'd be kind of like one of those things that you just kind of extend to hold something up. This one's damn near there. It's not as heavy but it's it's definitely got some some size to it. And then Let's get this fed through. So I'm going to use, this thing comes with two, uh, each of these strands. Let's move this back some. Each of these strands that come on this uh, 
power supply. There's three of them that can be plugged in. They're both double eights, but I'm going to use individual strands on each. Just because we don't have another one in there anyways. So I'm not too concerned. We do have an indicator on there for, I guess, good power indication. Yep. So I don't know if you guys could tell that or not, but I'll tell you what, I'm gonna put it over here so you can tell, you can see. This thing's got a little green LED. Probably can't see it in the light. Let me see if I can get this. That's a green LED. Believe me, even if it's showing, and if I pull that off, it goes red. So right there is showing you if it's got good contact on on the uh, power plugged into the 8-pin, the dual 8-pins. That switches it back to green. So, sorry for the shakies. So it looks like it does need the two, the two eight pins. So let's put the power back over here. Let's get this back situated so you guys can see the power. Perfect. All right, let's get this fired up. Oh, that thing lights up like Christmas. Lights up on the back and the front's pretty pretty bright LED. Let's get this over here. Now, since I did do a DDU, it's not going to try to auto-install the driver, and I did not download the latest NVIDIA driver. Let's grab that. Ten seventy Ti. Not that it matters. It all uses usually the same set. Sixty four. Should come down here. Here we go. Control J will take you to the download viewer in Chrome. Nothing like downloading while you're streaming. I mean, the upload on the stream is really where it matters, but still. A little bit of traffic there. Showing folder. We're going to extract to... We're just going to let it do its thing. Yeah, he's taking bets on what this thing's going to do. I'm real interested to see what kind of power settings we can get out of it. Solid states, man. 
Has anybody ever went back to a spindle just just to go through the pain? It's unbelievable. Yeah, B gold doesn't look like it's too pop, too uh, profitable right now. You cannot mod the BIOS on these. I think our first installment of the uh, the overview with the whiteboard, doing the what I'm going to call the information gathering slash scrum session slash resource catalog. We're going to take everybody through it the first time, hopefully on Thursday. Tomorrow is my birthday, so tomorrow I am. Uh, Miss BBT and I are going to be celebrating that away from the house, staying at a hotel, should be a good time. And then back on Thursday, and if we can set it up, I'm really excited to take everybody through that. It's going to be completely different content than what we normally do here. It's going to fall more into the realm of my day-to-day -day job. Um, well, it's kind of one of my old jobs, but I'm a lot more comfortable in that space, and it's really going to be kind of from a requirements gathering standpoint, so I'm pretty excited to do that. But bottom line, what we're going to do is we're going to map out everything that it has to do with a mining rig. All the tools, all the troubleshooting, and we're going to build it together. We're going to build epics and portfolio items based on all those items. And then from those, we're going to break those things down into different categories together live. We're using a whiteboard. And then those items are going to get entered into a public backlog that will be read-only. And then you guys can make comments, suggestions to making updates to things. And what we're going to do is we're going to try to get an entire central rise repository on the Internet with all troubleshooting steps, all tools across most of the algorithms that you can mine. That is the goal, and we're going to do it together, and we're going to do it live. We're going to do it through different scrum sessions. I'm going to treat it like it's a scrum meeting. Nice. Feld driver install. Let's do device manager. Oh, it says it fell, but it installed it, just in case. I'm going to make sure it tells me that it's already installed. And we're going to give it a reboot. So I, I think that it will be a good start to try to build that repository for people. And not only is it, you know, people are like, oh, you're just going to do all this information gather and put it behind a paywall. No, we're not. And second off, it's all going to be on a live stream anyway, so you're going to have the information anyway. So our goal is to take all that information and put it in categorically on a site, on bitsbetrippin.com, in the resource section, laid out in such a way that you guys can gain access to it right away. I mean, just go straight to it, click the link, and then you'll be able to get to that information. We'll start using that as the knowledge base. And then I'll just hold, if we can hold a, a, a repeat schedule of at least once a week to update that as new stuff changes and updates, We'll just treat it like a scrum session. I'm going to treat it kind of like it's a, I don't want to call it a job, but effectively it's a job. But I will play the role of the scrum master, which is a role in software development that is a partner on the team that helps people get um, in, I guess the best way to say it is it's it's the person that blocks and tackles any kind of issues and it's the people that, that keep essentially the team developing, keep things going. So doing that and all, we're going to mold that to this content we're going to mold that to putting together a resource database that is second to none on the internet and it is it is taking all the things that are on forums and all the stuff you guys contribute 
and it's putting it into an area in a systematic way that you guys can get to it. You know, drill downs, all that kind of stuff. So that way you don't have to pull. I like forums, I like Bitcoin talk, I like the different areas out there, but this is kind of just a one-stop shop. It takes all the BS away, what settings, what things work, and we'll do it categorically across tools, pro problems, all that. But the first step is creating the first initial backlog and just getting it laid out. And then we'll add more of that iteratively through the different series that we'll do on that. I don't think anybody else is doing this on YouTube and it really ties into my background being able to facilitate it. So I'm expecting that you guys will help share once we can do through a few of them and you guys get the cycle on it with the regulars and then it should grow to a lot more people participating in it. And yes, it's going to be live. It's not going to be episode driven. So let's see. It 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 did the the UAC did ask for it to install. So I did run it as an administrator, and it should be. Let's go back to this. Scrum ain't no waterfall. No, it's agile. It's going to be done agilely. We are going to look at. Yeah, it looks like it's in there fine. So, first things first, let's take a look at the GPU Z. Wattage just set in here is. Just on idle. Look at that. Look at the wattage increase. Oh, it was it was actually pinging it as it was doing a a search. So there's the idle. So we were at 25 idle before. Just out of the box, we're up 20 20 watts of it just sitting in there. I mean that could be those just those few triple fans that are in there, and then the the lighting on it is 20 watts. But here here's what we're looking at. So it looks like base GPU, six, 1607, and then 2002 memory boost goes to 1683. I don't know what the base stock on uh, 1080 Ti's are, but this should be like out of the box, like crazy overclocked um, by comparison. And look at that, Micron memory. Interesting. So... Let's open up this guy and have this up with sensors only. Sure. I'm just downloading this because uh, I want the latest version of this, definitely. Extract to just since it's a 1070 Ti, it might have some other fun in there that I want to make sure we capture. Let's close that. Let's go here. We're going to throw this one away. We're going to throw, unpin that guy. And then... Pin the taskbar. Alright. Sensors only. get to there because that's what you guys want to see 18 watts idle we will get into overclocking and stuff I just want to see what a few benchmarks are with it out of the box let's start with ETH out of the box Eric, my day's been great. So ETH out of the box, a lot like a 1070, 26.8. 136 on the card. Power on, that's 175, so 150. 150, so your Delta your delta between this report right here, 136.4, and 
and then the 25 on the on the actual board would take you to 150 so you got the 25 extra from the slot and the the rest of the stuff so um 26 on that i'm gonna write this down that way i can refer back to it when we're going eth base is 26.766 at total system want 175 it is staying ice cold though guys look at that 47 celsius fans at 39 percent jeez So you want some cool cards, there you go. Let's check some Zcash real quick, base settings, and then we're gonna throw some clocks to it. 21 in the multi-miner. Using a lot more power, 171 on that. We will overclock and change things. 221, 222, so Zcash. 222. 463 souls at 221 stock. This is all stock. Pretty atypical. Uh, we can do XMR eighteen. We are going to, we will overclock, we will drop some settings, all that kind of stuff. But we're getting some base settings here right now. On XMR, it's at 120, 120 watts. Yep, 120 there, 87. Cash rate. Cash rate out of the box, 630. XMR. Full system wattage is still holding. Yeah, it's 86 watts. And giving you 120 full system so it's a yeah it's 86 watts so yeah the delta between that is the power the slot from the the slot taking power the fans and the lights on the card taking some power so 86 off the actual gpu and memory usage according if that's really accurate but at least the kilowatts telling us 121 so so that gives us at least Three of the algorithms, base stock. Feather coin, which uses a different algorithm also. FTC, a lot of this is just to see the different algorithms, guys. NeoScript. NeoScript running. Lack thereof running. One thousand kilohash. Six thirty. One thousand four kilohash. Kilo. There's a share submission. 
We're setting at 225. I was I was wondering. I was thinking, man, that that power is not right. 80 watts. Two two six watts. All right. Some Burt coin. VTC. VTC has been on been on a run lately. Out of the box, 42.25 mega hash. No, 43. I'm corrected. 43.66 is what's submitted. And what kind of power are we looking at that? Same thing, 222. Same power wattage usage. Which other algorithm are we missing? Digibyte. Brostol. D G B dash G R O S T L. Eighty one point oh three mega hash. At two two four. Roughly about the same, 224. They're all running about the same wattage there. Library should be the same as. Uh, 27 should be the same as uh, VTC, I believe. No, it's not VTC, it's a different algorithm. Um, 334, 334, or no, three, yeah, 343, excuse me, 343 mega hash. That's. Two five watts. You know, one thing I gotta say, I gotta give Nvidia props on is stuff is just straight stable as hell, man. I mean, can you imagine doing an RX series card right now through this? We would have crashed the miner once. The system would have rebooted. Pascal. And that's not even overclocked. Here's Pascal's miner. Status failed. Status okay. 622, is that, that's where it's going to land. Pascal. 792, it keeps climbing. Nine forty four, and that's where it's going to settle out at. Nine seventy three, still climbing. What kind of power are we looking at? Two thirty four, a little more power. About ten watts more power. 
We're at one gigahash. It is still climbing. Let's just call it one oh one oh six. Just keeps creeping. Is the power going up with it? No, power's going down. All right, 106.8, G-H-S. All right, I think, is that all of them? That might be all of them. All the algorithms, we'll see here. Bitcoin gold, no, we don't need that one. Hush is the same algorithm, ah, uh, Saya. Nineteen oh eight mega hash. Two thirty four watts. That's yeah, rock solid in 1908. I hear you. All right. So all of our algorithms. I need to make a spreadsheet of this. Komodo should be the same. There any classic. Uh, I'm not too. I mean, it's up to you guys. Dual. I don't ever recommend dual mining with uh, Nvidia, so I'm not even going to take it through the dual mining thing. You guys can tell me at the end if you want to see dual mining after we overclock it some. Maybe we'll do some dual mining, but I just kind of refrain from dual mining with Nvidia cards. So yes, we did do VTC. It came in at 43.66 mega hash at 200. 20 watts. We did do Grossel. It was 81 watt, 81 mega hash at 224 watts. And these are all stock settings. So now let's let's play with this thing. All right. This is uh, MSI Afterburner, and it is the. Version uh, beta 20 4.4.0 beta 20. I will put that on the description. I'll put the download link to it. Beta 20 download link. We're gonna do our normal straight to 600. No, let's do 500. We're only going to test a couple coins with these settings. We're going to tile it, uh, dial it in, and then we'll go across all of them. I'm going to leave the clock zero for right now. And then we're going to take the power limit down to 70. We're going to unlink that and pull the temp up. It doesn't matter. It's not going to get there. But let's see if those settings. Yeah, I'll do five, 500. And we're just going to do a couple. Let's do uh, Ethereum. And I'll bump up the core for Zcash. Thirty point five, thirty point five, hundred twenty five watts. So we were at 
164, our system idles about 30, 25, 30. So at 500, 0, 70% power limit. We're gonna go ahead and go up a little more. Take it to 700. I will take up uh, the core clock when we do Zcash. We'll let this run for a second. Sorry, I just, I gotta switch that screen back. Uh, I just took the core up to, uh, I took the memory up to 700. That's where we're at right now. Rock solid at 32. 162, still holding that. Car staying cool still, 44 Celsius. Fan speed's still sitting at 39. I don't hear it spin up and at all. Here's the hardware info for folks wanting to look at that. We will go kind of crazy on the power limits and all that stuff in a minute. I'm trying to see what we can what we can peel out of the card first. And then we'll start steering it back down and seeing if we can get it super optimized, because that's really where this card comes into play. We're gonna leave that at 70. Actually, I'm going to give it a little more power just for this run, and then we'll step the power down. I'm going to give it 80, and I'm going to tell you why I'm giving it 80, because I'm going to go straight for the beans. And this is Zotac's uh, usually claim to fame is if it, hold, if it can actually hold a 1,000. Can it do it? Can it do it? Oh, it does it! Zotac, three for three. Thousand, thousand megahertz. That's Zotac, folks. That link's in the description. One thousand megahertz, thirty-four point four. Thirty-four point four four. Let's see that micron. It's Rorkin. Micron not missing a beat. Oh, I closed it. You know what? So that I've seen this before on my 1070. If I close it, I have to step the memory back down. So we got some artifacts here. So not 100% stable. Oh, the artifacts cleared themselves. What? Oh, hell no. So I, 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 it didn't crash. That's so weird. That's Zotac for you. Hi, I'm, I'm sitting here stunned because it didn't crash. So let's see. Let's leave it at 80 for right now, and then I'm gonna step it back down to 70. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a. We're gonna take this. I, I, there's no way it's going to do 175. 
Okay, so... 34... Uh, we'll find a good setting, and then I'm going to go through all the algorithms again, so don't freak out. We will go through all of them. I'm just testing Zcash now with these settings, and this might be the setting we stick with through all of them. Is it stable? Yeah, I would normally reset it too, but it just seems like it's it's wanting to work. Maybe. Yep. Accepted a share. 539 Souls We're going to let this run for a second. Now the 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 big deal with the Zo the Zotax is they have a lot more uh, well at least the ones that on the previous ones their VRMs and their let's see here they should have the detail uh, it doesn't have it on the box so. There's a little more uh, power uh, management on this card compared to a lot of other 1080 Ti or 1070 Ti's. The hardware's a little different. They are on the next level. Look at that, five almost 540 souls. I'm I'm letting it run for a second because I want to see if it and it's still holding the 50 51 Celsius. Like. Like the card's not working. It's not even trying. All right, so if that's stable. Let's take it to 68. Look at that, 528 at 4.29. 68% power limit. Hundred twenty-three watts on Zcash. Four point two nine souls a watt. Five twenty eight. This is Zotac, there it is. There's you want a king right now from power usage. The 68 is probably pulling it just below 500 souls, but I bet you if I give it 70, it'll probably bump it back up. And we're still sh we're still showing some pretty good performance on it. 497 drop to. I don't think I've seen a four. I've maybe seen 409. But that is just, that is crazy. Let's uh, speed it a little more power. And let's get a little more crazier on the core. Yeah, we're doing real-time power management right now on this card. Feeding it a little more power. Give it a little more core. I'm seeing if I can recover it some. We're seeing it on the next update. Just do an S. Here we are. We're back. So we do get artifacts for a second. 
Let's try to go 200. Zcash. 21. 200 core, 1,000 memory, 70 power limit. That's your settings right now on Zcash. This, and this is on the Zotac 1070 Ti Amped Extreme. It's accepting shares. Five oh four one sixty three full system. I just don't see how we could take it anymore. I mean, it's, I think I need to feed it more power. Let's do uh, 80, apply. Getting still a little bit of artifacts, but then the artifacts go away. It's so weird. No, no, they're not away yet. I'm gonna give it a reboot on these settings. We're gonna save these settings. Let's see here, save. Slot one, profile saved. Oh, no. Nope. Yep, they're still there. Artifacts are still there. Let's give it a restart. Part of that's also for me just playing with it when it's running. I'm still surprised that it's 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 actually stable even with the artifacts on the screen. All right, we're back up. Getting this back up, we're gonna load this profile. We're gonna apply it. We're just going to go through the algorithms at this profile. So, profile settings are 200 core, 80, power limit. I will do, this is kind of the, the I call it the balls out run. Yes, guys, I will do an index note on this. Well, I'll put it on bitsbytrippin.com. I'm going to have it as a blog post of all the numbers and everything that's on here. So we'll, I'll just I'll retype it all and put it out there, guys, out there. On the, and I'll probably make a Steam It post around it. Um, so I'm going to do this one. I'm going to call the balls out approach where it's 200 core, 1,000 memory, 80 watts. And then we're going to come back and we're going to reset some settings and see how low we can pull the, the wattage down and see if we can really bring this card way, way, way down. See if we can get a, a 5.0 on the uh, souls to power, or souls to output ratio. So let's do, uh, let's start with ETH again. Just with these settings. Thirty-four point four point four. Uh, it's some. That's a, I mean, would you guys say that's thirty-four point five? That's damn near it. Eh, thirty-four point four eight. Oh, we'll just give it that. Be anal about it. Maybe he's a real man and the people balls out. Uh, let's see here. Zcash. Kind of did these in a weird order, but that's what it is. We're just doing Zcash after a reboot. This is a little more a little more power applied to it. 
I just realized I didn't write down the power on it, so I'm going to have to do that on Ethereum again. Power on Zcash, 183. We're using a little more juice this round, 183 system. Because I gave it 80 power limit, but I want to see if we can... Uh... There it is. So 540 if we do it that way. Souls. Now again, remember this is going for the the beans of what the what's this thing possible. So that's essentially in 1080 Ti or 1080 Ti, not Ti, 1080 territory. 144 watts. So we can drop, we can pull 20 watts off that by just dropping the power limit by 20, or by 10 from 80 to 70. And yeah, power is still staying the same. So. Close that out. Now we got artifacts after that for a second. You know what? I'm gonna do I'm gonna do two things here. We got that setting. Let's do a setting for this, which I'll use for when I'm shutting down the miner. 10, 80 is fine. Save in slot two. And then what I'm going to do is go back to slot one, loaded, applied, and before I shut the next miner down, I'm going to I'm going to flip them and toggle them. That way it uh, doesn't give me artifacts. So XMR was next on our list. Actually, let me do uh, ETH real quick one more time and get the power on it. Do max power limit with 50 core, 500 memory. You think it's power starved, Lopez? So, ETH powers, that's exactly the same, ironically, as the Zcash, 183 watts. Okay. Close that out. Let's do... Oh, I didn't... I didn't stop it. Get ahead of myself. XMR. Got a little bit of artifacts, but... I think they're just visual. 18 XMR. Power on the XMR. 140. 140. Full system. Hash rates. Almost 800, 791. 791 for 150 watts. I don't think a 1080 does 791 though on a XMR. Apply that. Close that. Go back to one. Apply. 791 hash. That's uh, that's almost a 150, 160 mega hash or uh, hash increase. All right. Let's do uh, next in the list was FTC. 40, 43, enter. Power wise, we're setting at same power, 183. 1,046. So 1,000 kilohash on Feathercoin. It's not drop that that profile is not moving. Interestingly.
Let's do uh, VTC. Burt coin. Thirty-three Carters. Yeah, I'll, I'll do Ubik. I'll give Ubik some love. All right, three ten on Vert Coin. Power on that is one eighty-three. Also, straight on the money. This thing's super consistent on the power. One eight three. It's full system. Now this is full system wattage. So forty-three. That is almost dead on of what we had before. Forty three point eight three Digibytes. Is number See what this does. Power wise, we're setting it the same as everything else, 184. Did you buy it at 80, 25? It actually went down. I'm wondering if this let's look at the setting here. I think, uh, I don't think it's running a thousand. I don't think it's this, I think this is needs a reboot. I think after I shut down, uh, after I shut down XMR, everything else has been almost dead on consistent. So I'm giving it a reboot real quick. We're going to give it that. We're going to go back to Feather Coin because I think that's right where it stopped. 43. Feather Coin was 10. Was 10. 46. God, it's still showing the. Yeah. We'll give it vert coin one more time also, fifty seven. Yeah, you're definitely not buying this one to heat your house, guys. This thing is staying cool. I do got a thermal. Let's take a thermal look at this thing. Boy, that's running.
Here's the thermals. And you can see the heat sink on the back of the, the uh, motherboard is setting right at 102. 100 and that's the uh, the chipsets uh, VRMs keeping the man this thing is like ridiculous the back of normal the normal back of cards guys are like uh, I mean that's the LED I'm on the LED part and that's probably just getting the supplemental heat that's how back how cool the back of that card is running on a mining thing right now 100 degrees. 106. Here, let me give you an idea of what. Let's see if we can we can ping the machine over here. Or let's see here. This one over here. I can get it. Look at that. Uh, what was that? I'm, this is a 1070 on the machine that's back there in the back. Let me see if I can get the dial on the back, and it's on the back of the cards. I saw I saw 150s, 160s there for a second. There we go. There's a 140, uh, 134. So that's the machine in the back corner of the, <laughs> the thing. Oh, it's a 1070. So yeah, this thing is not putting out any heat at all on the surface temperature of that graphics card. And the normal heat would be coming out the back. So the air temperature that's coming blowing out the back of it's 90 degrees. So that gives you guys an un a basic understanding from the thermals on the on this Zotac. It is the coolest card physically. I mean, yeah, I'm, I have my hand on this thing. It's it's not that warm at all compared to most graphics cards. Oh, I didn't turn off the... I need to restart it again. It's not stable if you shut it down. It looks like it's rock solid as long as you leave it. We're getting this restarted. All right. Let's get this back. Let's get this back through. Sorry for the detour. Let's get that back. Let's pick up where we left off. We left off at we did G, uh, Digibyte growth stool that was at 80.25 at 184 watts. And we are now going into library. I didn't write that library credits. That's the only one that could be because that's the only one I missed. Library credits 27. Yeah, the mem clock's too high, but it's stable as long as it's running. You got to bring it down if you want to. Let's see what the max is. And remember, this is the balls out uh, speed right now. And that is the same 348 mega hash on library at 185. Wow, that's using a lot more power. I know it's not. Sorry, 182, that's right on with the rest of them, 180, 184 to 182 is what the other ones we're using. Of course, I just closed it without shutting it down. Let's see here, Pascal, this was over a one giga hash earlier, 24. This miner launches its own little web piece. Woo, it's already at 1.1 gigahash. 
We gotta let this one spool up for a second. 191. It uses a little more energy. Pascal coin uses a little more energy for some reason. 191. Watts. When we're at 1.218 giga hash, it's 8.4 mega, mega hash a joule. It looks like it might be leveling off there. Yep. Two, one, two, one, seven gig. All right. One, two, one, seven. Reset this. Fly. Shut down. Shut down that. Reapply the clock. Supply. Back onto here. All right, we got one more coin here, and then we're going to start taking... We're going to see how low we can get this thing. Happy 40, Carter. Yeah. 40 tomorrow. Let's see here. C. S I. S I coin. That's exactly the same. Power wise, 192. All right, reset. Close. Man. Let's go to, let's play around with this now. So we, we did all those, all the different currencies, the fastest. This was essentially the fastest run that we could have on them with all the different stuff. Now let's play around with some settings here. Let's take this core down minus 100. Take the memory to Let's do 850 based on what we've seen. Let's turn. I want to take this all the way down. Let's try 60. We're going to play with this a few times with ETH. So 32.8 almost, or no, yeah, 32.9, 32 almost 33 at 144 watts. Whew. Let's run sensors only on this. Scroll down here. That's at 108 watts on the card. We're at 32, 32 mega hash, 100 and 108 watts. Almost 33. That's pretty decent. Let's see here. ETH. 32.7 mega hash. That's. I'm just seeing if it's stable. I'm letting it run while I'm type writing this. 108 watt card 141 system with 
with power limits of 60, negative 100, 850. pretty good. I'm going to take the power down all the way. See what we get with that. Oh, that starved it hard. That starved it hard. Only using 80 watts of power. But we are at 20, so that is a no, no go. Let's do 55. What we're doing is we're going for the lowest wise, and we're going to do this with Zcash too, guys, so. I'm trying to see an optimal, optimal setting with the Zotac where we can push the memory as high as we are. If I can get this like 30 with these settings, I'm going to see if I can take the memory up a little more. Ooh, close. 28. 28. We're just at 100 watts, 98 watts on the card. 27.2 full system 130 watts 30 watts full system 134 27 all right it's 27 100 we, we, we pulled off about 8 watts and then an extra, probably two or three from the slot from not having to run as hard. I'm going to do a trade-off here. Let's see if that matters any. Still 27, 27, 98. I think it just needs a little more power. We're going to stair step this power a little bit. Let's see. 58. We're at 30 mega hash. Full systems, 140. So it's not that that as good as a deal. The 60s where it's really at. I don't think we can steal some there. Rob Peter to pay Paul here. 60. Negative 200. There, we're at 32 now. And we're at 106. Full system, 144. So yeah, that seems to be where it's at if you wanna really, or you really wanna optimize it for ETH. I mean, when we were going full out and using 40 more watts of power, we were only getting one more mega hash. So right here is your kind of setting. On this card anyways, is 60, negative 200 on the core. One, well, if you can do 1,000 on the memory. I don't think the 1,000 on the memory versus eight, 
eight uh, eight fifty was that big much of a difference, but we are over thirty two mega hash on this card, and we are using just over hundred watts. Give thirty three some juice. All right, we'll play thirty three. Oh, I forgot to reset it, and I just hit the end there. Okay. Let's see here. I got a little bit of artifacts. Let's see if it works. I just realized BBT is the biggest pool hopper. That's right. There's a little bit of Ubi Club. 32.6. Hunter and eight, 143. So we're, yeah, 100, 100, 108 watts. This card's awesome. Now the price is the, a 10 cent. To be fair, if you can find an Amped Extreme Edition 1070, you're almost in the same bucket. Let's just be honest. The only difference is, is you're going to spend a little more power. Because I think the Amped Extreme Edition 1070 we had was about 122 to 125 watts. You're saving about 20 to 30 watts on this card. Well, about 20 watts, to be fair. Per card. So, I mean, if, that's a decent amount on a full rig. Oh, I keep... I keep doing that. I gotta restart it again. You can't. It does not like 1,000 memory if you close out close out your miner. Give it a quick reboot. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna do Zcash in the same fashion. I'm gonna give it some core. I'm gonna starve it some power, and we're gonna see if we can get the uh, souls, the total souls up. And then I think that concludes the, actually the the mining portions of this card. Uh, and then maybe if we if you guys want to for a few minutes we can. Uh, I'll do a, a benchmark or something, if you guys care. If you guys don't care about gaming benchmarks, I won't waste the time. We can just wrap this episode up. So the big takeaway right now is... Uh, a lot which you guys probably already knew, but you guys at least got to see it do its thing. Zcash here. We're just going to starve it for power real quick. Oops. Scroll this down. Zcash. Let's see what we can get it to. Starving it of power. How much did I pay for this GPU? I think I had a post on it. It was um, 500, 500 bucks maybe? 510? So starving for power, we're almost at 4, 107 watts. Full system, we are using 150 kilowatt, or 150 watts. So still 460 soul, almost 4.0, using 100 watts per card. What the hell? Zcash. 420... at 107 all right let's try
try... Seven fifty, one ten, sixty five. Z cash twenty one. Acceptance of shares. Hundred sixteen watts, so we're almost at five hundred. We gave it a little more power. Efficiency went up, power went up a little bit, but our souls went up to almost uh, went up by fifty. Soul, so four seven five at one one six watts to four dot oh nine. Sixty seven. One hundred eight twenty five twenty one. What we're trying to do is get that uh that souls per uh wattage up. Going in the right direction. Four eight three one one seven four dot thirteen and it's at sixty seven. One hundred eight twenty five. Five hundred fifty sixty two Alan Seal final hash rate on ETH was thirty four point four. Was the max, and now it's at about a hundred. 135 watts or 140 watts full system was 180 it's a 403 it looks like we're really bouncing around that I was really trying for five but five is a stretch Seventy five, six seventy five, sixty. You try sixty two hundred and seventy, so you can compare it to your thing. Sure. You guys want DSTM also? Okay. All right. 
not getting anything special there. Okay, so we want to do 60 here. Two hundred here, seven hundred here. So sixty power limit, two hundred core, seven hundred on the memory. Four twenty nine, one oh seven, we'll give it one more. We're going to go the other way. I will try the DTSM also. Yeah, Sniper Nerf Pro mods, I will, uh, I'm taking this from tires sheet here and I will compile it for us. Woo! Almost 600. This is a little more balls out, but it's using some juice, boys. 245, we're using 196 watts. I'm just seeing what she has in her. Zotac tearing it up. Hundred and ten power, three hundred nine nine seventy five, because why not? We may have finally locked nope. Did we lock up? Oh, maybe. Yep. Nope. Thread exited. We had a thread exit, but we didn't have a crash. God love NVIDIA. Two ninety nine twenty five. Not exited the thread. Two seventy five. One ten. We might have blown the driver, we'll see. Ten. 
275. So I think that's all she's got from a, just an outright flat out what is it capable of? 198. What's the TDP on this thing supposed to be? Because we're blasting through it. I thought it was 175 watt TDP, but we are we are killing that 175 watt TDP right now. Like, look at this. It's ghosting it. Oh, I finally exited. I'm going to give it a reboot because I probably have made it unstable. Um, yeah, the top. I think that was about it, boys. I mean, I, we did all the different testing. I, I have all this recorded here. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to compile this into a spreadsheet. And I'll make a blog post on it. Um, that way you guys can have it and have some kind of cross comparison, but the main numbers on this tonight for anybody that caught this late, um, flat out on Ethereum is about 34.4. You're using about a hundred and on the card, you're using 135 to 140 Watts. Full system was 183. Uh, Zcash, the most optimal on the night was having, uh, the settings at, well, we had it at 1,200 on the core, 80 watts uh, fed to the card. It was 183 watts full system. That's about 150 watts to the card. And that was 540 souls. That was about 4.29 on the soul uh, to watt ratio. That was one of the best, actually, of the night. Um, XMR did 791 uh, hashes at 140 watts full system. So it was about 100, 100 watts on the card, 109, somewhere around there, uh, power watt usage for 791. So it is below the Vega. Um, the FTC, that's Feather Coins, about 1,046 uh, kilohashes at 183 watts, full out. VTC, which is Burt Coins, about 43.83 at 183 watts, full system. That's about 150. 40, 150 for the card. Uh, pretty much all the rest of these are 150 for the card, which is uh, Digibyte, uh, 80.25. Library was 348 mega hash for 184 full system, um, which is about 150 for the card. Uh, Pascal was 1.26 giga hash, or 1.216, so 1,216 giga hash. Uh, for 191 watts full system, that's about 165 on that card. Um, and then the SIA by itself was 1900, uh, so uh, no, 1900 kilohash. Um, and that was for the same wattage, 191 watts full system, that's about 165. When we just did this, uh, the, the best kind of settings I would say right now for Ethereum. Um, where when we dropped it to a power level of 60 with a negative 150 uh, on the core and 850 to 925 somewhere around there on the memory you're going to get a little over 32 almost 33 mega hash for 108 watts on the card that's probably one of the best so uh, uh, settings for that Zcash seemed to be the best was uh, short of going flat out if you want to save electricity and you only want to use about 100 watts on the card, 100, uh, actually 117 watts on the card, then you need to set it to about 67 on the power limit, 100 on the core, and 825 on the memory. Gave us a 4.13 consistency on the wattage um, per souls, and that was at 483 souls, so not bad. And then, we obviously at the end here, we did a full out, um, run on it, which was giving it 110 on the power limit and 275 on the core uh, on the core clock and a thousand on the memory, resulted in 198 watts on the card. The full system was about 250, 
or close to it. So uh, that's more than TDP. I thought TDP was like 175 on this card, but uh, Zotac may have upped it. Um, and that obviously was horrible on the watt wattage to hash ratio. It was about 2.7, but it was uh, 570, 578 souls is the top amount on that. So that's what we'll write up. Hopefully that information was valuable. This card really is just a strong performer. It usually is. Zotac puts a hell of... I mean, this thing This thing never got over... Um, I think the high, hottest this thing... I saw this thing is at 51, and that's when we were just juicing the hell out of it. It's 51 Celsius. So uh, surface temperature we did a thing on, and it was a lot lower um, than most graphic cards by about 40 to 50 watts. Or 40 to 50... Uh, Fahrenheit to the touch. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed that. I enjoyed uh, getting it and really testing it. I wanted to see what this card could do. I think the the price is about probably, probably $75 higher than uh, it makes it worth it. So if you could find these things on like some kind of discount. Um, but Or if you're just building a rig and you were looking at 1070s and 1070 Ti's are available... I don't think you're going wrong with this card for the long term. I mean, your ROI is going to be a little more expensive if you're buying six of them because you're adding about $70 worth of cost for about the same performance as a 1070. Um, pretty close to the same performance as a 1070. Uh, but you're going to have a lot less heat than most 1070s, and you're going to have a better ratio on the power. And as you guys can see, I mean, this card was rock solid. We, this this machine never blue screened, like ever, like it did not. It never. It even when it even when it went black screen there, when I took it up to three hundred core, it just it like dumped the driver. It didn't even give me the dump of the driver in the in the task manager. I mean, like like I don't know if it's the latest Nvidia driver and mixed with this card, but the the and this does not have the fall creator update. This only has uh, version Windows seventeen oh three. So I don't have the fall creator update on this machine. Um, so yeah, I just, Zotac is where it's at, man. I mean, hopefully this was good. Um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I'm going to have tomorrow. I'm not going to be streaming tomorrow. And then Thursday's where we're going to look to do um, the, the kind of scrum walkthrough on the stuff that I was talking about earlier. If you missed that, you can catch it in the video later. And we'll see. Make sure... Uh, I didn't miss anybody's uh, super chats. We got one from Mark Selvin. Thanks, brother, for the donation there. Uh, hopefully, this was good and informative. Uh, check the links below. All the links to the this machine and this card and all that stuff's down there. Bitsbytrippin.com and Steam it. If you follow us on Steam it at Bitsbytrippin, I'm gonna put all this tonight together, and I'll put some timestamps in the uh, the description. So, like, share, subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you guys uh, later.